weekend, so it has been a hot minute since I have filmed a video, but I am back and better than ever. I've been super busy. I got a lot of it out of the way, so I'm gonna have a lot more free time, and I'd really like to expand my channel and post more videos, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, today's video is on this semi-cut crease look. If you want to see how I did it, then please continue watching. So I already have my foundation on. I used Too Faced Born This Way in the color Warm Beige. So right now I'm going in with Cinema Secrets Concealer in number 18. I'm using Eco Tools Concealer Brush and I'm just going to apply this to all the places on my face that I'd like to highlight. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my damp beauty blender and blend this in. Now taking a clean concealer brush, I'm going to take Cinema Secrets Concealer in 39A and I'm going to apply this to all the places I'd like to contour and darken up. To blend this out, I'm taking the Cream Shop Oval Brush. I put way too much on. But it's alright, just have to make sure I blend it out really well so it's even. I'm taking the excess on the brush and I'm just going to swipe it over my forehead, my temples, just to warm up the rest of my face. The only negative thing I have to say about using Cinema Secrets foundation to contour your face is that it's very thick and it dries very fast so you have to blend it out pretty quickly and if you're not good at blending or if you don't have the right tools it could be really harsh and doesn't blend well. If you use the right stuff it warms up your face perfectly so you just have to work with it and get used to it. With the same lighter concealer I'm gonna go ahead and highlight right under where we contoured just to really make that pop. So to set my cream contour, I'm using Smashbox Contour Palette, and I'm going to be mixing the two darker brown colors together. So, I choke you down just like a so for blush, I'm going in with Milani's Powder Blush. This is in the color Romantic Rose, and I'm just using this little brush to apply that. Now I'm just going to brush out my eyebrows to how I like them and start filling them in with Max Brow Powder in the color Gross Culture. And I'm using Smashbox Angle Brush to fill them in. I'm taking Max eyeshadow in the color Saddle. As you can tell, this color has gotten a lot of love. I love using this as a transition color, so highly recommend it. I'm just gonna place this straight edge right underneath my eye to the tail of my eyebrow and start making that sharp line. I'm taking Brown Script that's also by MAC and I'm going to be applying this to the same area as well. I'm taking this matte purple color by MAC. It does not have a name on it and I'm just going to keep building up the color to my crease. Now I'm taking ColourPop's Super Shock Shadow in the color Drift, and I'm going to start working this into my crease as well. Taking this short fluffy brush by Smashbox, I'm taking that same color, and I'm just going to work this into my inner corner. Now taking the color Sketch by MAC, I'm going to apply this closest to the straight edge. Now going in with that same concealer brush and the same concealer, I'm going to go ahead and go over the shadow. Like 
Now taking the color Yogurt by MAC, I'm just going to go ahead and pack this onto the concealer. Now to make sure there's no harsh lines, I'm taking the same blending brush I used before and I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out. Don't let me sleep, never say you're sorry. Now I'm taking this super small brush and my Urban Decay setting spray. I'm using Maybelline's eyeshadow in the color The Glow Down and I'm going to pack this all over that concealer. I'm back in with the color Drift by ColourPop and my blending brush. I'm just going to go ahead and blend this together again so there's no harsh lines. Going back in with that smaller fluffy brush by Smashbox and the same color, I'm just going to intensify the color in my crease. I'm also going to bring it down towards my lower lash line to connect the shadow from top to bottom. Taking that same brush with the gold left on it and I'm going to apply this right under my brow bone. So right now I'm going to use my eyelash curler from Tarte and I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply Maybelline's Colossal Mascara. So now that I have all that done, I'm going to go ahead and use these half lashes by MAC. So I'm going to go ahead and apply those now. I think that they look a little crazy because it's like just from here to here and half lashes are fine but these are super long. Like do you see that? It looks beautiful but... My natural eyelashes aren't long enough to fill them out where I don't have them. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use some of Ardell's individual lashes. And I'm just going to place a few of them towards my inner corner. So I just went ahead and I put one right about there and one right about there. That's pretty much all I needed and I think it looks a lot better. To finish up the look, I'm just going to apply that same Maybelline eyeshadow that we used for our semi-crease and I'm going to use this as a highlighter. To apply that, I'm taking my Morphe M497 brush. Don't let me sleep, never say you're sorry. So I'm going to be using MAC's lip liner in the color Plum, and I'm just going to go ahead and fill out my lips. Now I'm applying MAC's matte lipstick in the color Sin. So I originally bought this color about last year for Halloween and I hated it then so I decided to try and like bring it back right now and I still hate it. This color is so hard to work with because it's so dark and it's like chalky almost and I have other matte lipsticks from MAC. It just happens to be that this super dark color just does not mix well. I also hate that it does not go stick to your lip at all. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try another lip color. So now I'm going ahead with the color Love Bite from Kylie Cosmetics and I'm just going to be using this applicator. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. This is my first time attempting a cut crease of any sort and I thought it came out pretty good. So thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. <laughs> semi gold cut crease look. It's a long sentence. On this semi, semi, semi name. When no one is around you, say baby I love you. Say my name, say my name.